The Earth acts as if it were a giant magnet, creating a magnetic field around it. This field is approximately aligned with the polar axis. The magnetic field has two poles, a north and a south, although the geographic poles of the Earth are not exactly coincidental with the poles generated by the magnetic field. Additionally, the two poles of the magnetic field are not directly opposite each other. They are not antipodal. A freely suspended magnet will align itself to the Earth's magnetic field so that the north-seeking end of the magnet will indicate the direction to the north part of the Earth's magnetic field. This phenomenon is utilized in an aircraft compass system. The north pole of the Earth's magnetic field is referred to as magnetic north. The actual geographic north pole is some distance away from the magnetic north pole. The magnetic north pole is constantly moving, albeit by small amounts, of around 22 nautical miles per year. In 2005, the magnetic north pole was close to 83 degrees of latitude, approximately 420 nautical miles from the geographic north pole. The longitude of the magnetic north pole was around 114 degrees west in 2005. This places the Earth's magnetic north pole amongst the Queen Elizabeth Islands in northern Canada. This physical position is important because we need to be able to compensate for the fact that it is not coincidental with the Earth's geographic north pole referred to as true north. The difference between true north and magnetic north has an angular value. This angular value is referred to as variation. Variation will depend on the relative position of the observer on the Earth's surface to magnetic north and true north. Variation can vary from zero to a maximum of 180 degrees. Additionally, the sense of variation is important, whether magnetic north is to the east or west of true north. As the magnetic north pole is constantly moving, variation also changes. Its numerical value is shown on most aeronautical maps. Lines that join places of equal variation are referred to as isogonals. Isogonals that indicate zero degrees variation are also referred to as agonic lines. We have seen that variation is dependent on the observer's relative position to the magnetic and true pole. Additionally, variation is either east or west. As aeronautical maps and charts have the latitude and longitude graticules superimposed, it is easy to find true north by following a meridian. We will therefore look at how to convert a true direction into a magnetic direction by the application of variation. This picture shows a route from Oxford Kidlington Airport to Ledbury. To measure the true direction, we can simply align a protractor with any meridian and read off the angle along the protractor's edge. This will indicate a true direction because the datum used is true north. In this example, the track is 286 degrees true. The isogonal nearest to the track we have drawn would indicate that the variation is 3 degrees west. We can see in this diagram that magnetic north lies 3 degrees to the west of true north. If we were now to measure the track with reference to magnetic north, we would have to add another 3 degrees. The magnetic track is therefore 289 degrees magnetic. Conversely, for a variation that is east, the magnetic track would be less than the true track. In the diagram, the true track is 090. The variation is 5 degrees east. As magnetic north is east of true north, the magnetic track is less than the true track. 
we need to subtract 5 degrees of variation. So the magnetic is 085 degrees. A convenient way to remember how to apply variation is to use the following rule. Variation west, magnetic best. Variation east, magnetic least. We have seen that we need to apply variation to the true direction to obtain magnetic direction. This is important as compass systems usually use magnetic north as a reference. Use the nearest isogonal to determine the value of variation, or interpolate between two isogonals. Apply variation to true by adding if west and subtracting if east to obtain magnetic direction.